say you are the son of the high priest Ahimelech? <laughs> yes, sir. He was my father, but... but... <laughs> I hear that all the priests at Nob were slain. Is this correct? Everyone, sir, except me. I escaped. Who would dare do such a thing? King Saul ordered it, sir. But a man by the name of Doag did the actual slaying. By himself? Yes, sir. None of the guards or anyone else would lift a hand against the priests but Doag. He seemed to enjoy it. I heard him laughing. Doeg. Doeg. Haven't I heard that name before? He's one of the king's chief shepherds, sir. Ah, yes. Now I remember. <laughs> he saw me that day I visited your father and asked for food and weapons. Ah, what a fool I was. If I'd only told the high priest the truth, he would have known what to do. Instead, I lied. And now... All the priests of Nob and their families are dead because I lied. One lie. <laughs> Uncle David, may I talk to you for a moment? Of course, General Joab. General? You are, as of right now, general of my forces, even though they be but 500 strong. But why me, Uncle David? Well, why not you? You're young. You're brave, intelligent, gallant fighter. You know how to lead and handle men. So, General Joab, organize our men into an army. Uh, what, by the way, did you wish to talk about? Oddly enough, it was about war. Fighting the Philistines. They are on another of their robbing expeditions. This time it's against Keilah. Do you suggest we attempt to drive them out of Keilah? I was going to suggest, sir, that you go to God in prayer and seek his will. What makes you think it might not be God's will to rescue the Keilah Heights? Sometimes, sir, God permits adversity and sorrow, even death and oppression, to teach lessons of obedience and love. <laughs> You're right, General Joab, absolutely right. I will seek God's counsel. <laughs> and so, O oh God, shall we go to Keilah and smite the Philistines? Go and attack the Philistines and save Kayla. General Joab reporting, sir. Yes, General. I have talked to the men, sir, and told them of our mission to save the people of Kayla. But they seem to think it foolish. They feel that we aren't safe here in Judah, and the danger would be even greater in Kayla. I will again seek God's guidance. Arise, go down to Keila, for I will give the Philistines into thy hand. Well, General Joab, the Lord again told us to go to Keila and rescue the city. He assured us of success. I shall tell the men, sir. Could you have them ready to leave in uh, ten minutes? I could, sir, but I... I am of the opinion that it would be rather foolish to march against the Philistines without thorough preparation. Uh, well said, Joab. Whatever we attempt in life, we should first prepare for it. Whether it be war or peace, plowing a field or building a house, work or play. Whatever it is, be prepared. Yes, sir. Tell me when you and your men are ready. Then and only then will we march to Keilah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bugler, sound halt! Men, take a ten minute rest. David, sir, down there is the city of Keila. Were it not for God's promise of victory, I would fear to march against it, for it is well fortified with walls and gates and bars. General, outside the walls and the pastures, what do you see? Sheep and cattle and goats. Exactly. And... Those are not to be slain. We will take them as food for our men, the prize of war. Fight, men! Fight harder! Remember, the Lord God of Israel is with us and shall give us victory! Well done, General Joab. We've driven the Philistines out of Keila. I commend you and your men for the success. Thank you, sir. You are a good general, Joab. I chose well when I chose you. 
Your system of scouting and spying is good. You say that King Saul has called all Israel to arms to besiege us here at Keila? Yes, sir. And the king is happy and sure of victory. He thinks we cannot escape out of this city of walls, gates, and bars. Do you remember what we talked about when we first heard of the Philistines robbing Keilah? Yes, and sir. That... And I suggest, sir, that we seek God's will in this matter also. <laughs> I shall at once. O Lord God of Israel, thy servant hath heard that Saul is coming to Keilah to destroy the city, because my men and I are here. Will the men of Keilah betray us to the king? O oh, Lord God of Israel, I beseech thee, tell thy servant if the king is actually coming to Keilah. He will come to Keilah. Will the people of Keilah deliver us into the hand of Saul? They will deliver thee up. <laughs> General Joab, the Lord revealed unto me that we will be delivered into the hand of King Saul if we remain here. Should we prepare to move out, sir? Immediately. Yes, sir. Where to, sir, if I may ask? Well, I suppose we'd better go to the wilderness of Ziph. There are many strongholds and caves there, places to hide. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.